Welcome back everyone. I've got a short but kind of fun one for you today. I wanted to see what it would look like if I combined a sketch effect that I've done in the past, but overlaid a bit of reality. You know, sort of like this. Let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this image of a young couple on a beach that I downloaded for free on pixabay.com. The first I did was to click Command or Control J to duplicate the image. Then, I went to my selection brush tool in the left-hand toolbar and began painting over this couple. I don't think they'll mind. They look a bit preoccupied. Anyway, I want to get a pretty good selection here, so I'll make my brush head bigger at first by clicking the right square bracket key a few times. But then, I'll make it much smaller as I work in the finer details by clicking on the left square bracket key. To undo areas I don't want, I'll hold the Option or Alt key while painting them away. As you can see here, you can get pretty detailed by controlling your brush size and your zoom level. I'll go over her hair here. It's a little too fine to get with the selection brush tool, but I'm hoping to clean that up in a second with the refine tool. Alright, that looks pretty good, so I'll select the refine button in the top toolbar and then just go over her hair once again with the matte adjustment brush. I can see some light pink areas here indicating that the selection isn't perfect, so I'll select the background adjustment brush and then paint them away. Then. I'll go to the Output drop-down, select New Layer with Mask, and then click Apply. Now, if I turn the other layers off, you can see that the selection is pretty good. OK, now I'll turn the Cutout layer off and I'll turn on the Middle Background layer to work on that for a bit. I'm going to turn it into a sketch. There are several steps here in the sketch effect. First, I'll go to the Adjustment button and select the HSL Adjustment. Then I'll move the saturation slider all the way to the left to remove all of the color. Next, I'll right click on the adjustment layer and scroll down to Merge Visible. This will put the black and white image into its own pixel layer. OK, next, with this new layer selected, I'll go to Layers in the menu and select Invert to turn the image into a negative. And then I'll go to the Blend Modes drop down at the top of the Layers panel and I'll select Color Dodge. This will cancel out the negative and turn your canvas mostly white. To reveal the sketch effect, all you have to do at this point is go down to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select one of the blur filters. I like to use Minimum Blur. When the panel pops up, just raise the slider up to the right until you see the desired sketch effect you are looking for. There, that looks pretty good. OK. Now to add a bit of reality to the sketch, just click the little dot next to the layer with our loving couple to turn it back on. I think that's a really cool looking effect, but if you want, you can go a little further and add us some colour back into the sketch. To do that, just click on the HSL icon to the left of the HSL adjustment layer and then slide the saturation slider back up to the right to whatever desired colour level you want. It's really up to you. I think I'll just go with the black and white for now. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.